Hey, Gary Cruz here. Uh, there's an update for the VO2 HD on the Roland website. So if you look for the VO2 HD upgrade for March 2019, there's a version 1.1 zero and this is where you can take advantage of the vo2 hd remote ipad application is not supported and there's also been some new features including this transform that's been added to the input software assigned settings and then uh, also one thing that is worth the upgrade here is that hd 1280 by 720 60 hertz and 1920 by 1080 60 hertz have been added to the output format settings before it was only uh, 59.94 uh, I and P and they did a couple bug fixes uh, so if you want to take advantage of this uh, you first have to download the utility so just search for the VO2 HD utility you'll come to this page scroll down to the bottom click on agree and download the file I've already downloaded it, but I'll download it again and unzip the file and go to your desktop and here's the utility. Let's go ahead and open the disk image. Alright, once you open the disk image, drag the application to your application folder and it's going to ask you to authenticate. Okay, and once it's installed, you also have to then download the update file. So if you look for the version 1.1 or latest update, scroll down to the bottom and click on agree and download the file, which I already did. And let's go ahead and open up the Roland application. It's called the VO2HD UTL. Open it. Okay, before you install this, you want to make sure you have the appropriate version. So let's switch over to this. Alright, so what we'll do is we click on menu, scroll down to system, and then scroll over to version number and you'll see that it's 1.0 1.000 and you want to be sure that you're not updating the firmware if it's the same version number that's what it says in instructions you can see that is asking for uh, this connection all right so now what we want to do is we want to plug in the USB cable to our computer so let's plug in the USB cable here And while we turn it on, we need to hold down the VFX button so that uh, we'll hold this down and turn it on and it should stay on as red. Okay, it's still red. Now let's go ahead and open up the utility. See it says please wait. Now there's a blue button saying update. Let's click on update. And you see that the version says 1.01. And let's click on the bin file to locate the one we've downloaded from the website. And I've downloaded that to my desktop. And it's right here. It's the version 1. Dot, or it says version 110.bin. Click on open. and click on update and you see that these two lights are flashing yellow this will take a few minutes so let's I'll go ahead and fast forward at now it says do not power off writing flash ROM 
and it's counting up. And now these are flashing red. Okay, it says update is completed. Let's click on OK. Please restart the VO2 HD. All right. Turn that off. And let's go ahead and plug this in so we can see what the, uh, the latest updates are. Click on menu. Let's switch over to system. Scroll down and we can see the latest update. Let's go back to menu and go to video output. Take a look at scaling. If we go to format, we can scroll all the way to FHD and you'll see that it has 1080p at 60 hertz. So this is great. All right, so this concludes the update. If this was helpful, hit that like button. And if you're interested in the VO2 HD, I'll be making a couple more videos related to that. I will also continue to make Blackmagic ATEM Studio comparisons with this small switcher. So if that's interest to you, please hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching.